are seeing maximum cuts are the PSU stocks. And this is after a phenomenal rally over the last couple of months. Nimesh joins in to put in context the PSU rally and the valuation. Nimesh. I remind you, know, uh, this is something we had put out a piece on Friday as well in Editor's Roundtable. Uh, while we all knew that the PSU index has done phenomenally well in the last one year, the index itself is up 81 percent. Uh, the cumulative market cap addition from this PSU companies has been close to 22 lakh crores. So that's a kind of journey we've seen in the PSU names. But there was a bit of a valuation concern in most of the names. So that's the piece we had put out. So look at the railway stocks now to start with. All are down 11, 12, 13 percent in today's trade. But if you look at the rally and put it, put, put into the valuation perspective, IRCTC, uh, that's, take, that's putting it 55 times on a, on a current year price to uh, price to earnings. So, and anyway, IRCT has IRCTC always has been an expensive stock, so to speak. But look at the other names, Aircon, that's not trading at close to 18 times. Uh, RVNL is trading at close to 32 times, and uh, uh, Railtel is now quoting at close to 35 times on uh, FY24 price to earnings. That's the kind of valuation we are giving for the railway stocks. Look at the uh, other basket, which is the capital goods basket. We spoke about BHL. In fact, Sanjay Prasad also spoke about BHL in the morning. BHL, after the rally in the last one, is now trading at close to 50 times on current year price to earning. We have not seen that, that kind of multiples for, for, for BHL in many, many years. Same is the case with the others like HAL, Rights, BEL, Bharat Dynamics, all the defense names, especially uh, HAL, BEL and Bharat Dynamics, all are trading way, way above their five-year averages, which, you know, historically they've been, they've been quoting at. So, even there, the valuation was, not a, was, was at a discomfort level. Uh, even if you look at uh, the power finances, uh, IRFC has been the big talking point of late, but look at the valuations of IRFC. It's the most expensive, uh, so to call, uh, you know, uh, financer at, at this point in time, quoting at close to four, over four times price to book. Uh, not even the private banks are quoting at these valuations on the current on, 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 on the current levels. Even if you look at PFC, RSC, historically they've been quoting around half a time book. Now they are quoting at close to two times book. So even in those even those those stocks, the valuation was not a comfort. Uh, the only sort of comfort level still which is there uh, within the PSU basket is the PSU bank stocks. Uh, even after the rally in the PSU bank stocks, all are trading pretty much at fair valuations. SBI uh, currently trading at close to 1 to 1.4 times price to book. Historically, it's been trading around 1.3, 1.4. So there, uh, there is not uh, the valuation not out of the whack. Even for the other PSU banks like uh, you know uh, Canara Bank, Union Bank, PNB, all are now quoting close to one time price to book. Historically, they've been quoting between half half a time to one time book. So uh, at least from a PSU bank point of view, even after the rally, they're still uh, relatively uh, you know valued compared to the other PSU basket. Same is the case with the OMC as well. Well, the stocks are down in today's trade. Uh, I had highlighted uh, even in the OMC basket, barring uh, Chennai Petro, which is way, way above the average multiple of two times. They are currently standing at close to eight times. The other PMs, especially the uh, uh, HPV, IOC, are pretty much at fair value to the five-year averages. So, uh, as I said, you know, while the index has rallied pretty hard, stocks have rallied pretty hard, in most of the cases, barring PSU banks, the valuation looked, uh, looked a bit stretched. And maybe that explains a bit of uh, profit booking in the PSU basket today. Okay, all right. Namesh, thanks a lot for that. Well, let's talk about the top gain on the Nifty then.